another episode of the Andrew Gloszewski Experience. This is going to be episode 152. Uh, continuing the photo bash. This one is going to be another fun one. I got Kill Tony podcast playing live in the background, so I'm just going to let that rock because uh, it's live and it's already going. So let's just let that go. They're going to talk about commercials or whatever in a bit, but fuck it. Let's go. Uh, but before we get tonight's episode started, here's a little bit from the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you. There we go, the sponsors. Right hey, y'all. Are you hiring for spring? What type of role are you hiring for? Maybe you need to hire someone to wear many hats. Let me uh, turn this down. Or you might have a simple position. I always uh, don't watch these live so I can just skip past all the commercials. But... I was watching that Resident Evil thing, but man, I could not, I couldn't do it, man. It just, couldn't believe it either. So I switched that over to, to watch this live. I wish I had caught David Finch live, or, you know, caught him in the beginning, but no dice. Okay. Yo, filter, come on. So as you may know, I've been I've been at these for a while. Whole lot of fun. There we go. this out. All right, I think they're done with the commercial. So let me turn it back up. The band brought to you by Fix Vodka. Yeah. The first ever alkaline vodka. Less hangover. No nice. heartburn. It, it's, it's distilled 10 times. So you get a lot of acid reflux. Try it out. Nice it clean you. buzz. I can tell there's some real fucking girly girls here tonight that like vodka, probably have oh, serious yeah. drinking problems. That's the way to do it. Get your girl a bottle of fixed vodka, and uh, that's why they call it fix. It will fix all the problems that you have uh, in your relationship. We, uh, what? Yeah, absolutely. We have a guest tonight, everybody. You want a guest, huh? Want a guest, everybody? Last well, week we had an epic episode where we found out that uh, three, we, had, we had to pull three women out of the bucket in a row yeah. to uh, have a funny woman on stage. Wow, you guys Tough missed. week for the ladies last <laughs> week, but the uh, cool thing about this week is to overcompensate for it, we brought out a hired gun all the way from Los Angeles, California. This young lady is a paid regular 
at the Comedy Store. I've been working with her for over a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my little firecracker of a pal, the great Jessica Michelle Singleton. Come on, people, make some noise for Jessica. I can feel that, oh, it's not Joe Rogan vibe from this crowd tonight. God damn it, he, he does like 50%, I swear he's there like half the episode. I swear, oh, fucking shit, a fucking girl, dude, fuck the shit, dude. Look at all these fucking alpha beef heads here. This guy wore a fucking tank top out on a Monday night. <laughs> you know he was hoping for Joe Rogan, this fucking sloppy fuck. I love it. Jessica, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great. Thanks I, for having me. We're going to have so much fun tonight. We're going to see comedians get pulled there out of the go. bucket. You guys know how this works. And uh, we have cut out the zipper. Comedians. I don't know if they're in there. I don't know what. We changed things today. How are my standing room only people doing? Hell yeah. Look at that fake enthusiasm. They want to sit down so bad right now. They're, just, they're, they're about to murder the person next to them just so they can sit on them like a warm couch. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see how this works out tonight. Some people are comedians. A lot of people signed up. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get to come on this stage and you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring it out all the way from West Hollywood. In fact, it is the West Hollywood Bear. <laughs> oh, wow. First time back. Normally we have other gay areas in Austin, but we figured it out. We just paid the money. We flew to West Hollywood Bear here via Spirit Airlines. <laughs> so stupid. I don't know what there we go. Ryan J. Evo is drawing tonight's episode all the way from Los Angeles, California. I'm going to hand for Ryan J. He draws all the tour posters, every single episode of the show. A really wild thing. If you're into art at all, go to RyanJabel.com. Every single episode of the show has its own personalized, awesome drawing matching the tone and the guest. Already switching it up a bunch. We support all types of wack of wacky fucking art. Here he is, Chris Rogers Art, everybody. He's right there. Live in the flesh. A real local artist. He's really from Austin, born and raised. He's wearing headphones. If you're wondering, he li he's listening to this episode of Kill Tony. He's not listening to music. He's still such a fan of the show that he wants it loud in his head. Uh, I love it. I'm all filled up. We had Best Barbecue Show. I mean, uh, CM Smokehouse before the show. Our favorite place, CM Smokehouse of Bolden Acres. That's CM underscore Smokehouse on Instagram. Brought to us by Yoni, our ambassador of barbecue. Follow him at Best Barbecue Shows on social media. Uh, Jessica Michelle Singleton has a podcast, Two Filthy Nerds, and she has a brand new country song for the first time ever. It debuted just about a month ago. It's called Now I Need a Whiskey, and to, uh, she stays true to the art form. That is a real whiskey, thanks to our friends over at Whistle Pig Whiskey. Not to be confused with number one tequila, we have sponsors for every type of liquor. That's how you know we have serious problems on this show. <laughs> Normally you have one liquor sponsor at a time, not here. Uh, we have it all. For anybody that's into anything, we have it. If anyone likes sweet vermouth, uh, the show is all right. Um, let's fucking do it, shall we? How many of you are big time fans of the show? You've been listening for years. All right. Let's see if I got this aligned. Case, since there's so many of you here, why don't we start off with something special? Uh, this guy has his own entrance music because he is the longest standing regular in the history of the show. Uh, beating out Ali Mikofsky's record. He has been a regular for, geez, I think almost frickin' three years or something. You might have to get rid of him soon. <laughs> something crazy. He writes and performs a brand new minute every week. He has an incredible style. He's the real deal. I call him the Big Red Machine. Make some noise for your first comedian. Not out of the bucket. A regular all the way from Los Angeles. Make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Wow. It's really him. Yeah, it really is fucking me. My dad's so old, he used to spank me. <laughs> My dad's so old, he remembers when Dr. Seuss was a sex symbol. My dad's so old, he thanked Jesus' mom and convinced her to claim it was a miracle pregnancy. I love how we're supposed to listen to Bill Gates about COVID as if he isn't responsible for a software that is constantly being exploited by viruses. Did anyone else cry during Blue Man Group? 
I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans in fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. Let me let me do that one more time, and y'all say only fans at the end of it. I'm starting a home improvement store that sells fans and fans only. I'm just trying to think of what to call it. Fans. Oh my God! Thank y'all so much. Wow, there it is, William Montgomery, getting the show started with a bang. Always fun to have the great and powerful. You are really sunburned. Yeah, I think all things today. Thank you, really. God, where were you? It's fun to have someone uh, redder than you on stage for a change, huh? I'm the medium red. Redman, red shut it off. <laughs> Thank you, William. Welcome back. No, but you're really sunburned. And, oh, oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. I smoked a bunch of weed out back. I think it maybe was spice. So I am badly on edge. Fresh off of spice. Okay. Very good. Welcome back to the show. William, you are at a very indented belly button this evening. I've noticed <laughs> Whoa. It appears as though perhaps someone, Is that has been, funny? someone has been digging at your belly button. Can you explain why your belly button is so concave? Yeah, you? I actually, last night, I watched a wonderful movie called One Hour Photo. Um, today, I bought a bunch of stock in Nikon. Okay. Did you pay for it and that you kind of, with Bitcoin that you found in your belly button? No, I've actually, I've actually started a new form of cryptocurrency. Uh, it's called Baby Root. Oh, okay. So it's the candy bar? Why didn't y'all laugh at that? That was hilarious. Can you not fucking say anything? <laughs> hey, can you fucking shut your mouth? Lit coin has been calling up. Yo, what's that red spot on your shirt? Oh, it's part of the shirt. No, it's actually blood. Okay. <laughs> How do you get blood on your shirt? I uh, started doing a cat's cradle. It is a, a game that you use. Uh, it's a big thing of string. Uh -huh. uh, and I was doing a cat's cradle last night. As I was watching the one hour photo, and I really messed my tummy up. Yeah? How'd you do that? By digging at the Just my finger. <laughs> Just my finger. I really hurt myself. William, my what's finger. one of your favorite things about Austin, Texas? You keep coming back, it appears to like every week and a half now. It used to be. Probably the horrible fucking heat. <laughs> I was sweating like a motherfucker earlier. Cody, I'll be quite frank. I don't think I should move here. Whoa. I hate this place. I hate Austin. They're booing you, William. What do you want to say to these people? They're booing you. buy my cryptocurrency. You can get it at 7-Eleven. <laughs> you literally have to buy a baby root bar. And I get the proceeds. How do you get the proceeds? 7-Eleven gives it to you? It is one of those things where when you go to a restaurant, you take a picture of the menu. What is that called? Go help me out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Red Band has got you so good with that sound effect. I don't he know if you did. Yeah, it really only He did. It. He's a real bitch tonight. <laughs> Shut up. He's a real motherfucker tonight. Don't you want to tell me? What we get in your fucking hell last week? Yeah, I we did. <laughs> we made out with each other and she and his watch. Yeah. It was in virtual reality, but they also fucked your belly last week. Oh, wow. Is that what happened? Yeah. I, I didn't realize Red Band's dick could do that much damage. Well, <laughs> <laughs> finally fucking really. Yeah, good, good thinking on the drums on that one. <laughs> My God! We got an Afro man on the bass guitar. <laughs> My goodness, are you roasting people, William? I've never seen this. I am roasted on spice. <laughs> he is on spice. K2. Perhaps, perhaps a little dehydrated from a hot day today. I am really dehydrated. How do you know? What are your symptoms of dehydration? I have only been drinking Yoo-Hoo's. <laughs> oh, well. Yoo-Hoo is not the drink to have. What are we doing? It is a chocolate water drink. How many units? And I've had probably four of them today. Four are you? 16 ounces. Oh my god, really? Four. I've been sweating all over the fucking place going to. Stop that, Red Man! There's a cat. There's a real cat. I've been going to 7 Eleven.
was the name of the red band. That was an actual an actual cat. I'm not buying it. <laughs> okay. Uh, William, what else? What else has happened this week? Anything else since the last time we saw you? I am addicted to the movie Pretty Woman. I don't wow. know if you all have seen that one. It is a a masterpiece. It is a 20th century delight. How many times? What, what is it? Dick yeah, play that song again and let's you and I kiss right there. William. Yeah. Stick with me over here. When you say that you're addicted to Pretty Woman, how many times have you watched it? Like twice in the past three years. Oh, wow. It's a very serious it addiction. A, it's no Hellraiser. William travels all the way from Los Angeles for this show. How cool is that? Right, people? For you. Here, at Anthem. His part doesn't even go on the show on the internet. We edited it out. If y'all if y'all could only imagine what you just said? Yeah, we're yeah. telling them that it's very special. You, you perform just for these people. We haven't If y'all could only picture what I am seeing in my mind, I am picturing going to one of y'all's tall buildings and fucking jumping off. Oh. After this fucking set, I've been sweating <laughs> all day. People are fucking William's going shit. off. I'm going to jump off the building. Right, you have a new t-shirt available. Where can they buy that at? Yeah, y'all go look at my merch. Where um, can you get the, the new Cracker Barrel? Plug, so. plug, the, plug, the, plug the site, William. This is your one chance to do it. On Instagram.com, my name is William.F.Montgomery1. Y'all get the link on there. All proceeds go to my mother. Hit the link on your Instagram, William. Where do you go to buy new t-shirts? Hit the link on my Instagram. There we go. All proceeds go to my sweet papa, Larry Montgomery. He is co-signing on my apartment tomorrow. Hey, new apartment in Austin. Wait, how old are, how old are you, William? I am 34, and, and I'm acting like a fucking college student. Because yeah. I have no credit. I have no verifiable income. I am fucking going to 7-Eleven. Trying to tell people to buy fucking baby roots. They're not. That's a lie. I was lying to you all about that. It's not a true thing. It's not Bitcoin. Wow, I totally thought you were being serious. Damn, so already transformations. Transformations are happening. I, want, I, would, I, I want to thank my sweet papa, Larry Montgomery, uh, for co signing on the apartment tomorrow. Alright. Well, William, we're very excited to have you in town. This was a great way to start the show. How about you guys make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling you guys were going to do that. Beating a man's addiction with a little pretty woman. Styling the Roy over the... How about a hand for the band, everybody? Come on, huh? Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen... This is the great Kaylee from the Red Rose. Not to be confused with the Yellow Rose, their sister club. The two best strip clubs in all of Austin, Texas. Kaylee, why don't you wave to the audience? Somebody here for Kaylee, everybody. Woo! Isn't she adorable? She has her own podcast, ATX After Dark. Ooh la la. All right. Bunch of comedians in the back. Bunch of comedians on the sidewalk. Create a little path if we have to for the stylings of Aaron Sorowski. Aaron Sorowski, our first bucket pull of the evening. That means anything can happen. I'll tell you right now, we've had a lot of people with mental health issues on this show. The past month has been basically, I don't know if there's just a tunnel coming from some asylum, but like we've had some we've had some real heavy hitters, you know. Leonardo from New York, a hilarious young lady. Yeah, we, but it's really been hit or miss. Don't forget about Lucas. Like, Lucas, Lucas and McCray. McCray. Yeah, oh my well, God. That's some heavy hitters, but it has been some deep sea fishing here in Austin this month. Here is Aaron Sorelsi. Make some noise for Aaron. Yeah. I was in I was in New York and I saw a peddler, and the only thing he was selling was a box of condoms. Right, and so I was like, are they new? He's like, they're refurbished. And like, if it works for him, 
I have a box coming to my car right now. Uh, gently use. Uh, $10. Thank you. Gently use is the only way I can use a condom. Because I got weak hips. You know? Right, buddy? Right, guys? You too? Anyway. It takes a village for me to have sex. Uh, literally. Um, there's me. There's the person I'm having sex with. And then there's the person that guides my hips in and out. You know how it is, buddy, right? He's got me. Uh, but, like, let me tell you guys, let me tell you, best three minutes of your life, okay? Best three minutes. I don't last three minutes. I'm done after two, so I paid the guy for three minutes. So at some point, it's just a limp body, you just, like, slam it again. Thank you, guys. Okay, Aaron Sarowski. Hmm. We can't. A little bit of uh, trouble in the bedroom. What are you fucking exactly, Aaron? Whose dead corpse are you fucking? <laughs> Different every night, you know. What the fuck was that noise, Michael Gonzalez? Michael Gonzalez is out, awing everybody. I have an R behind me. You feel bad for me saying that he fucks corpses? Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. Last thing I want to do is hurt the drummer's feelings back here. I thought you were toughened up after a couple months of doing the show. Thank you. 
T Madness, what do you think this guy looks like? If you had to guess, if you had to guess, if you, if you, if you, if you, need a micro, if you put one of those microphones near him, is that going to work? Will it help the audience here at least? Yeah, sure. Share it with T Madness. Share that microphone. Just put it right in front of his face there. What do you think he looks like? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah? I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Just go for it, Tina. Tell the truth.
do. Did you yeah. come immediately? No, I should have. I, uh, I started laughing, and like nothing may have made me softer in my life than someone saying I love you that I've never met before. Yeah. But then I like didn't want to. I didn't want to disappoint, so I kept on like trying to pretend like I, like we could still have sex, and like I think it was working because she was still into it. I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Scary. That reminds me. I once. This is years ago, but I once had a. Uh, I once had like this uh, girl I was hooking up with, right? And one time, and I don't know why I did this, and I never did it since. But one time, I was <laughs> having sex with her, and I, at one point, bring it all. I go, but I didn't like mean it. So it's gonna sound bad when I first say it. But I was like, I was like, uh, I was like, oh god, I fucking love you. like that. But it wasn't like an I love you. Right. It was like a, it was like I love this. Right. You know what I mean? And I thought I, because I didn't hear I love you, because I heard what I was thinking, right? Which is like, oh, this is fucking hot, right? Type of. But with the words that came out of my mouth were, I, I fucking love you. <laughs> right. Horrible. And sure enough, when uh, when that ended, whatever, you know, a few weeks or whatever happened, you know what I mean? After that, I got a fucking. She went wild, lots of text messages, and at one point she goes, you told me you fucking loved me. <laughs> so I had to answer that. Amy Schumer, everyone. Yeah, that's who it was. That's who it was. Red Band. Red Band. Red Band. Coming up with Dungeon Master. Find himself. Sending. <laughs> Aaron Sorowski. Thank you so much, everybody. Aaron Sorowski. He's at Aaron.comedy. Wait, 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 Aaron. Come here. Come here. I just want to say we have these Kill Tony... Leather chilled books made by Bonesai, a local leather artist here in Austin, Texas. The coolest shit, Kill Tony, the actual crossover, the new uh, gun crossing with microphone. Uh, and, but we're going to give you the tiny one. We have tiny ones as well. We're going to give you one of the tiny ones. Aaron Sorowski, a good sport, good comedian, Aaron.comedy. There he goes, everybody. Follow him on social media. Going Totally a different direction than how he came on the stage, but uh, there you go. I didn't even remember how he got up here. That's the why. That's the adrenaline of the show. Here's Kaylee, everyone, keeping everything clean for us, keeping the show All nice right. and sanitary. Incredible. Check where we started. Who better to Hell keep yeah. everything clean <laughs> than one of the uh. little girls we've ever met in our lives? All sperm hands. Fresh off of a, what appeared to be a cocaine bender last week. <laughs> I love it. Lots of energy last week. I don't know what happened. She seems pretty chill today. All right. This looks like a fun name. I'm going to make some noise for Mariano Di Vincenzo. Mariano Di Vincenzo. Show a couple weeks ago, right? Uh, I was, yes. Yeah, what, what happened there? 
I just had to be so sick. Uh, you mostly made fun of my hair. Right, that sounds about uh, right. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you made Agabar look really bad, so I want to I wanna give him a new shout out because I. Made <laughs> what? what? Agabar, my barber, who's been here on the show. Right, no, Agabar <laughs> made Agabar look really bad. He did that again on this appearance as well. Nothing's changing the hair. The set was fantastic, but that doesn't mean anything about your hair. Even Carrot Top has good sets. <laughs> Luckily, we're not judging your hair here, Mariano. Uh, I, thank God, thank God. I love it. I love it. I also love that even when you're wearing a shirt, it still looks like you're uh, like one of those barber apron things. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? What are you, Connor McGregor's valet driver or something like that? <laughs> what is that? Where's like a Cosby find, show shirt? Where'd you find that fucking thing? I started wearing like these vintage shirts. I used to be really shy, so it was kind of a way of like when I put on these shirts, it just kind of helped. Aww. You put the awe in autistic. Oh, thank you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> There's the sound of autism, for those of you wondering. A lot of people think it's a seal that is our autistic friend. There he is. There he goes. Wow, look at that. Quiet awe to the audience. Yeah, right. you can just leave and nobody cares. They don't care if Americans come. They're like, 
did you bring anything? <laughs> Do you have anything with you? Can we have something? <laughs> Sorry, Michael Gonzalez. See, you don't, you don't awe that, but you awe the other guy. I'm making fun of all your people right now. <laughs> Okay. Are they, uh, how, how long ago was that wedding? Uh, like a week ago. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. fresh, fresh, fresh off the border. Fresh off the border. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Anything special? Did they do anything extra Mexican there? Did they, uh, you know what I we mean? Just did, went, did she throw her bouquet over the wall or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just the typical Mexican stuff. They wouldn't leave like, to like six. There's just always like one drunk person who wants to like say you might have to carry it to you. Was that you? It was not me. Yeah. I was I was extra respectful just because I I was in a board. You look like you're part of the mariachi band. Yeah, you? there's a very mariachi energy to you. It's a very <laughs> hairyachi or something like that. Hairyachi. All right, Mariana, what's your sex life like? We've been talking with uh, we just had a real, real serious discussion with Aaron Sorosi. Real animal. I uh, it's been pretty slow for the last like three months. I had a hookup like three months ago and. Uh, I'm kind of off the dating apps right now, just uh, trying to get the list Clearing your head, yeah. Yeah, getting the best yeah. yeah. No, I just, I'm trying to do it organically or whatever, just meeting people when I'm starting the to grass and Just, yeah, just, well, the dating apps are fucking with my head, so I just felt like it was the time to... Uh, just, like, put like on the shirt and meet a lady. I like it. Yeah. Normally, weddings, ladies are very uh, turned on. They're very, like, horny and things like that. Did, did anyone make a move at you at this point? move on you at this wedding? Uh, I was pretty scared and moved all the way up. Did you tell know. them you're American? You should, no, just, have a, you should just have a name tag that says, my name is American on <laughs> it. I told them I was Argentinian, which means they probably hated me more. They don't like that. Yeah, they just Jesus like, Christ, I don't like yeah. Me. yeah. <laughs> Michael Gonzalez just threw up on a snare drum and you said you're Argentinian. <laughs> All right, Mariana, you got lucky a couple weeks here. Welcome back to the show. Congratulations. You know what? You're so, you were so funny. I'm going to give you a full-size Keltoni joke book. Yeah, Thanks cool. to our friend Adrian Cavazos. He hand-makes these. He's another local Austin artist. You can follow him on Instagram at Bonesai with a Z in the middle. B-O-N-E-Z-E-Y-E. Bonesai. How about another hand for Mariana DiVincenzo, yeah, everybody? Set. We're doing it here today. Yeah. What? It, to get off the stage. It's very weird what's happening here. No, that's sort of a... Well, he almost jumped off the stage. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. We know well. this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, your next comedian helps us out here on this show. He is a barbecue specialist. He has his own show called Best Barbecue Show on the internet. He feeds us regularly. He is our basically our ambassador of food here in Austin, Texas. Any type of food, anything that we want to do, we always ask Yoni first. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. It's Yoni, everybody! Texas. I love Texas. Uh, I've been here for 12 years, which means I'm not one of those new people. Uh, I've learned a lot about Texas living here. One of the things is you can't drive slow. If you want to get on I-35, you better hit the gas like you're on the last lap of the fucking Daytona 500, or else someone's going to be right up your ass. You know, if we walked around downtown or in grocery stores that way, people think you're crazy. Like, if I stood right here, you'd think I was insane, right? But standing, it's a little close, right? You're comfortable? This is how we drive. I love Texas barbecue. That's my thing. Uh, I love it because... It's the best big dick energy. It's a giant black tube filled with hot meat. If you want to eat Texas barbecue, you need a big black cock running all day. Uh, you also have to cook barbecue by burning an entire tree. You can't cook like for 10 minutes, an hour, two hours. You got to put a whole fucking tree in that thing, chop it up, get some uh, strong arm, etc. Thank you. Yeah, me. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I love it. One of the reasons why I love Yoni, you'll notice that uh, that I have a lot of love for Yoni, because he's doing stand-up, and he is, admittedly, green, right? You're brand new at it, brand new, you've been hitting open mics, though, you've been hustling oh, yeah. around town. He tells me all the time, never misses a chance to tell me, I'm doing an open mic tonight, I'm doing a mic tomorrow, <laughs> I did a mic last night. Uh, I love it. You're working it out. You're talking about stuff that you know. Let me ask you this. If you were doing a normal show with a normal audience where people aren't on stage with you, how does that joke about the I-35 end if you're not putting your 
dip next to the guest <laughs> on, the, on the show. Well, I use the stand a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, but, yeah. I, but a lot of the open mics, there's actually, like, there's a wine bar where there's a lot of people with their backs to you. And a lot of times they're not paying attention, so I'll get, like, right behind one of them. Oh, wow. Fuck oh, yeah. Very, very great idea. Very rarely do comedians mix their Me Too with their performance. <laughs> so. Normally we wait till after or something like that. But not you. You just go for it. I love it, you know, um, You talked about the 35. I mean, you got a good point. I guess that's sort of everywhere. I don't know what the fuck the deal is with people out here, but I mean, if somebody could tell their friends with the giant trucks that the far left lane is not for them, <laughs> I'd greatly appreciate it. It's frightening that the far right lane, for some reason, is becoming a passing lane. All right. Yeah, you guys love that shit. Yeah, things move a little bit slower. If you're running late for things, maybe you should leave the house a little bit earlier. I can hear all your Texas bullshit. Right, I, can, I understand how you think, trust me. How about you just fucking get over one lane? There's four lanes, a lot of you are in the far left lane. This also goes for dumb girls as well. I notice that uh, when it's not a gigantic truck with an old school suburban countryman in it, there's just a normal chick checking out her phone in the far left lane because she feels safe because she's not going to get hit and get nervous about cars on her left and her right. You get a little nervous, so the wall makes you feel safer. Get the fuck over. No one's hitting you from the left. No one's hitting you. Just get over. You don't belong in the far left lane. Thank you. Sincerely, Corvette owner, Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I had to get that out of my system. If everybody could clip that clip and just spread it all around the internet, maybe I could be like the, the, the change. I could be like the Barack Obama of change of left lanes, even though Barack I never mean, changed gonna, any second. I, say, I think Texas actually does the left lane way better than any other state I've ever been in. Uh, like, uh, like they actually get pissed if you're in the left lane here. Uh, I've noticed. Uh, they they force this a little bit more. I don't know, man. I went to Dallas last week and it was fucking embarrassing. Dallas is a little different. It's not as good as Austin, Texas. Hell yeah. <laughs> Jesus, red man, you're so gay. <laughs> you're so gay sometimes. And that's coming from me. <laughs> oh, All right. So Yoni, let's talk about you. Talk about the 35, and then what'd you go into? Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Absolutely. Talking about what you know. What'd you cover there? You talked about big uh, black tubes. Big dick, big dick energy. Right. Barbecue. You yeah. love you love barbecue. Tell these people about your Saturday routine. Uh, every Saturday I go to Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. Opens at 8 a.m. <laughs> Only open Saturdays with Miss Tootsie, an 86-year-old pitmaster. Just turned 86. 86-year-old lady. Yeah. And I bet she doesn't. Even an 86-year-old lady doesn't stay in the far left lane. Oh, this is a lady that knows how to utilize the middle lane. <laughs> you just go the speed limit. Life's easy there. That's it. For those of you who don't want to go the speed limit, that's the fucking lane for you. <laughs> she drives a cute little pickup truck. It's, it's adorable. That's so sweet. 86 years old, still working the pits. Hell yeah. What yeah. else? You go there, and like that's an early gig for you, right? Yeah, 8 a.m., so I get there around 6.37. Wow. And ever, do you ever get sick of barbecue? Fuck no. no. Really? Like, I've had it, like, maybe 10 times, 15 times since I've moved here, and I'm, like, I'm uh, kind of over it for a while. It doesn't look like so that. <laughs> 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 looks, like, looks like you're under it. Or, or like, have you had your blood uh, checked to see, like, what your sodium levels are or anything like that? It's not recently. I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> have you had your blood checked to see your Yeah, I mean, that was, like, four years ago. I love it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? You're blocking a camera right down the middle. There. There's a camera right behind Yeah, you. there you go. Anybody that's ever right there in that little zone, try not to stand up. This especially goes to the people standing right there in front of the camera. Thank you so much. Yeah. There he is. Save the huggies for another time, shall we? I know you're excited to see each other. I promise you this is a recorded show. Uh, <laughs> it's a party in here. It really is. Oh, the people, yeah. I love the standing room. At first, there was a little curious about the standing room, but leave it to Antones to no rock and roll. Hell yeah. You know how to fill up a rock club. It feels good up here. Shout out to the famous ticket scalpers from a couple weeks ago. They're leaving one empty table here in front of the center. <laughs> I love it. So, uh, you know, fun times. You have, i got to be honest with you, and I think everybody that knows you agrees with this. You are one of the most positive, coolest people, and you have made a lot of people's transition to Austin residents very you. easy. Very smooth. A lot of you people that are Kill Tony fans and fans of comedy have to 
thank this guy out in the streets when you see him because he keeps us all feeling real at home here. How about one more time for the comedy thank style and the Yoni, everybody. Yeah. At best BDQ on social media. Best mustache ride. That's awesome. Real thick mustache. Very, Very thick. Girthy mustache on that guy. Juicy mustache. Here's Kaylee. The Red Rose just celebrated her one year anniversary oh, yeah. this past week. How many of you have been to either the Red Rose or the Yellow Rose, huh? These guys, you guys haven't been over here at the high top? No? Oh, you guys seem like wow, you got it different. Tank top, you ever been to Red Rose, Yellow Rose? You ever been to a strip club? No. I, th I think tank top is secretly a tank bottom. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm getting the old middle finger. Oh, the old middle finger. That's the way to kill Tony. All right. Dubs. Dubs is next. Dubs General. It's a wacky name. Should be oh, interesting. General. That's a score, isn't it? Let's see what happens. Dubs General. For the best jokes you've heard in town, call 1 800 Dubs General now. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, he's on crutches, oh. everybody. We love people on oh. I just met this guy. We love a good, fresh injury. We're going to talk all about it after the. Oh, he's got a Bucky shirt on. Oh, wow. This guy is uh, very likable. Representing Bucky's. Yeah. He can't. He's got an injured foot and he's getting an turn. injured foot. It's the moment where an injured man tries to get around the blind bass player, everybody. This is a real live show. Anything can happen. One more time for Dubs. I hate bitches with braces. <laughs> because you're lying through your teeth, bitch. When I fuck my girl, I like to yell out Kobe before I call him. That'll represent for LA. Um, I love pussy. Um, I love all types of pussy. I love white pussy, it just needs a little bit more seasoning in them. I love black pussy, it always looks like this. What's wrong, pussy? I love Mexican pussy, it's just too fertile, pregnant. Hey, bitch, I just shake your hand, bitch, you know what I mean? You ever heard this? <laughs> it's called toilet paper pussy. You ain't never had no toilet paper pussy? No. That's it, I'm Dubs General. Dubs General, I can remember you if you were on this show before. You have not been, correct? Welcome, sir. Appreciate it. Indeed, absolutely welcome to the show, Dubs. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> he imagined. He, he did, he did. He did. Really? Yeah, I was at David Lucas' show last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. So, uh, here's the, the, uh, well, my first question is this. You said that you yell Kobe before you come. Uh, why exactly is that? Is that because your cum is going to crash into her from above? <laughs> Just a bunch of kids dying. Kobe jokes, for some reason, the uh, most uh, death threats possible yeah. ever in my life. All of come from Kobe Bryant jokes, so we'll see what happens here. It's because I shoot a lot. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. That's right. Yeah. A That's lot. a good thing to do with cum. It's never fun to pass to your friend when you're going to shoot a load. You know what I mean? No. Been there. I Wait. love it. To Duff General, million dollar question. What happened to your foot? Uh... I was playing basketball with my son. I was going to say some rude shit, but yeah, no, just playing basketball with my son. Okay. Yeah. All right. You don't yell Kobe when you're with your son, do you? <laughs> no. Good. Good. Even though you're playing basketball, I'd like to make yeah. sure you don't want to mix the two. Oh. You don't want to get confused and accidentally shoot a load on your son. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is dribble it. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's how it's like that. That's how it's like Anthony. That's what Red Band yells before he's gonna come. He yells Scotty Pippen and then he dribbles out of his head. <laughs> Alright, Dubs General, how long have you been doing stand up? Three years. Three years, all of it here in Austin, Texas? Uh, no, I actually am all over the country. I just came from Florida just for David's show and this show. Oh, sweet. What part of Florida? Uh, Citrus Springs, which is an hour north and an hour east of Tampa and Orlando. Okay. Damn. Very cool. Alright. I'm actually throwing a festival there too, but... When are you throwing the festival there? August 6th and August 7th. Wow, that is oh, yeah. so crazy. Yeah, you're going to be there. 
You want to, well, not going to be at the festival, Side right? Slither. But that's not part of your festival, is it? No, but... That'd be so crazy. I was going to ask you if you wanted to open for me at Side Splitters in Tampa, but you're doing a festival, No, so. no, no. I will, I will. But we how are you... We wait, 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 wait a second. We were it out. It's on the same weekend of your own festival. Yeah, right? but I have workers that will work it, and then Fire I will drive down with only an hour. Oh, my God. Are you sure? I mean, I don't want you to break your foot. Am I sure? Okay. Well, there you <laughs> Absolutely, go. Absolutely, yes. Sweet. Well, then there you go. Fifth, sixth, and seventh at Side Splitters in Great Tampa. Great job. Oh. For me. I appreciate yeah. it. Dubs General. Three years in the game. Somebody's got to do it. That's where I started. And plus, this is an easy way to make sure that you don't complain about that Kobe joke on the internet when this show premieres. <laughs> <laughs> See that? The fucking house of cards. Keep your friends close. <laughs> Dubs, what do you do for work? What do you do for a living? Uh, I work on, with IT. I work for hospitals. Awesome, man. Right. Okay, that's fun. And uh, living in Florida? Yep. Out there? Just um, moved there from here uh, in San Antonio, like right when you guys moved here. What made home. you move to Florida at that time? All right, let's go into it. So uh, I was given a divorce, um, and my wife, or ex at the time, uh, now, um, lived in Florida, and I wanted to be a great dad and have my kids closer to their mom, so I moved to Florida. Oh, wow. look at that. There you go. Good dad. Yeah. Good father. Don't see a lot of those in comedy. Great. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> the best joke of the whole episode. That, that did not get what it deserved. That was, dude, that's Jessica Michelle Singleton right there. Franking it. All right. Uh, what do you like to do for fun? What What are some hobbies? You see, when you're not playing basketball with your son or coming and yelling Kobe on someone's chest, what are some other yeah. things that? Uh, I do a video a day on YouTube, some funny shit. Just, okay. uh, whether I have a puppet too, that I, I uh, started oh. a new puppet show. Really? Yeah. So pretty much, I realized that there's a, a lane that's missing right now. Um, because like the muscle. Jesus Christ, you guys, please. The one table that can't continuously. I love you guys so much. Please stop standing. Guy with the feet. Will someone tell him that I'm talking to him? Hey, you, right there. Guys, yeah, stop please, standing. Please stop standing up, please. There's one camera that gets most of the show. It's right there. Thank you. I love you guys so much. I'm cutting off my good tits. Jesus fucking Christ. They are good tits. They are good tits. She does. Uh, oh. Wow, someone just broke the glass. Uh, what was, uh, what was the answer to that question about things that you do for fun again? Uh, doing a puppet show because there's like a, a lane that's missing. There's not like an urban puppet show. That I mean, is true. Uh, there is no, there is no, <laughs> there is no, uh, Tyler Perry presents, uh, Muppet Baby. Muppet from the hood. Yeah. There is that, there is Willie, though, the famous Willie Willie puppet. Tyler and Lester. Yeah, I, I love Willie and Lester. And, of course, I don't know, I'm from, I'm actually from an all-black neighborhood. I know that you guys might not believe that, but it's I true. Know. And uh, one of the movies that I was raised on that me and my young African-American friends would watch is a little movie called Tales from the Hood. Yep. And uh, there are, there is one uh, of the anthologies that, uh, that features a lot of scary black puppets. Black puppets shockingly scarier than white puppets. Okay. <laughs> white puppets are fucking child's play compared to black puppets. Now, if you're, if you're thinking of laugh, it's a smart child's play with white doll thing. Is your puppet something that you bought, like, say, like, Amazon? Because I actually bought a black puppet after some research, and it wasn't that great of a puppet. It's hard to find a, a good black puppet. What do you puppet. think? The black so, puppet didn't work for you? No, it's just... It, what, did it steal your wallet right there? It was poorly made. It was probably made by a Mexican puppet. So, <laughs> so uh, my, my, <laughs> my puppet is Mexican. Oh, it is? It oh. is Mexican. Oh. It wears, like, a um, like a cape and a mask, and his name is Blue. Wow, yeah. I love it. Not the, not the first Mexican anything to peek up over a wall, right? You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> Puppet jokes, everybody. Did you make it yourself? No, I got it from Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. Uh, Hobby okay. Lobby selling Mexican puppets. Got it from where? What's it called? Hobby Lobby. Oh, Hobby Lobby. Yeah. It's the poor people place. You don't go Indeed. there. Indeed. No, 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 I don't. I don't at all. They don't even allow people like me in there. Yeah, no gays allowed. They tell me to get out. You son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. Such a such a shame that uh, I'm going to be bringing totally different people to Tampa to open Shit. for us the first weekend of August. All right, Dubs, so much fun. Uh, congratulations! I'm going to see you August fifth, sixth, and seventh. We'll be going on the first.
first on those shows. And, oh, uh, anything great else? Game. Anything else for that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, great game. Again. I, I think with the Kobe, the Kobe joke, I think what you said in his response is actually a very clean joke to go like, because I shoot a lot. It's worth thinking about how to go. Okay. The setup goes a really hard time. So I wanted a harder time. Yeah. No, I appreciate that because I literally wrote that joke last night when I went up with David and I just didn't know where else to go with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think just the honest answer of like, because I shoot a lot or something like that, like, because it, it's set up for a hard time. All right. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we just hit an hour. You can also say because a bunch of children. God damn. Had some fun with this one. Anyway, uh, that's for those of you that know what happened in the actual Tony Hinsclip at AOL. That's going to be the end of this one. Let's see. Let's see where we started. So we started with this picture. Immediately changed it. And changed some of the colors around. Threw uh, a bit of gear on him. Changed the colors around. And the gear came with the, with the collar. Changed the face. Throw on the mask. Well, <laughs> just did the hair and threw on the other mask. So yeah, let's uh, save that. And save that one. See what he looks like without the mask for a second. Hell yeah, this looks good, man. This looks good. I like it. I dig it. Oh, did I do the flag on this layer? Hold on. There we go. All right. So now I could turn that off and not lose the flag. That was weird. It's just me not controlling my layers. Oh yeah, save this. Replace that. And yeah, man, looks good. Looking looking funky, man. It's amazing when you when you take your ideas and then uh, just kind of make them happen, you know. Like I, I never really know what's gonna happen with them, but yeah. Certainly d nothing I've ever seen before, really. So I'm glad to be glad to be making this. Glad this is all happening. And the mask actually fits in. You know, that's the one thing that I'm that I'm digging is that the mask actually fits or you know, the headgear that he's wearing actually fits in with like, you know, less so with the regular street clothing, but once he's in uniform, like yeah, this makes sense. 
I like it. So let's see, where are we at? Down here. So yeah. I mean, he looks like, you know, he's part of Daft Punk over here. Yeah. Oh, this is so dope. Alright, well that's going to be the end of this one, man. I'm G Mr. Drew. That's at G Mr. Drew on all social media. You can follow, like, and subscribe. And you've been watching the Andrew Gloszewski Experience episode 152. Just photo bashed all this together. And yeah, man. I'll, I'll be back. I still got some time. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take another break, watch a little more of this Kill Tony, and then I'll be back on in a bit. Alright, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.